Oh, watch my name. <laughs> Cup and saucer? Nope. Thumbs crossed behind? Nah. Get a grip! Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Armed and Feminine, and we are in a cornfield. I don't know why. It's a nice day, and this is a great place to be. So today, in this beautiful rural surrounding, we're going to show you how to get a proper grip. Uh, I've had a lot of ladies um, write to me about different topics and that they were learning things, and this is another one. So here you are. So for today, we're going to demonstrate uh, with the uh, Ruger SR9C. You can see that uh, the chamber is empty and there is no magazine, um, so it is safe at this point. All right, so first thing for a good grip is to, in your strong hand, make a V, and in the web of your hand, we're going to put it as high up on the back strap as we can possibly get it. As I just mentioned in a previous video, um, I want to make sure that I don't even get a paper clip into uh, this area here. The reason for that is if you don't have uh, the web of your hand all the way up, the recoil or the muzzle rise on this firearm is, is not going to be easily controllable. If you have it as high up on the back strap as you can, you can more easily bring that uh, muzzle rise or control that recoil a whole lot better so that you can quickly get back on target. So that's step one. Step two is to take your support hand and this bend in this particular hand works like a little puzzle and I uh, tell my girls um, this works like puzzle pieces. All these little bumps in your hand right here will fit neatly right into the bumps on this hand. So tab A, slot B. This last knuckle down here where we start to uh, connect to the wrist, that one is going to fit right in to that piece here so thumbs are downrange. Um, so essentially if we were to use just the support hand it would look like this so that this whole extremity is lying flat straight across the frame. Now another way to make sure that that is in the right position would be that uh, if you open your fingers and they are down at a 45 degree angle that uh, will tell you that you have your thumbs in the right position. Tab A into slot B. Both thumbs down range. Alrighty, so with our hands in a good position on the firearm, now we come to the extension. Nice and tight and solid. What you want to have is this arm, like a rifle, nice and long, um, because what this will do, with the fingers down, locking this, it'll give you a, a nice solid purchase on the firearm, which is going to absorb the recoil right into the so shoulder for you a whole lot better, so you can get right back up on target. Your strong hand actually does the least amount of work in this kind of position. The support hand does 70% of the work. So essentially while this is here, um, this hand is going to squeeze front to back, this hand is going to squeeze side to side for you. Um, and the reason for that is because we want to make sure that we have nice comfort for our trigger finger. All of this is about making sure that nothing moves but the trigger finger. So 70% of the work is done here to free up this. All right, to recap, nice V, high up on the back strap, thumb along the frame, down range, puzzle pieces, the back joint, tab A, slot B, wrap around 45 degrees, extend, and nice. Now, what I want to show you about the don't would be what we just learned here. If uh, someone is doing cup and saucer, we just learned how much work the support hand does on this grip. If we're doing this, we don't have any support to do that. Um, the fingers crossed behind, that's actually really dangerous um, because if you can see with this thumb behind as the slide comes back and cycles each time, that can cause a laceration or worse, an amputation and I've seen that too. A better grip is going to mean better accuracy, better shooting, better follow up. So give it a try, you're going to find a difference. I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment if you like and remember, it's your life protect it position and give us uh, the desired what is it going to do?